Hmm. That's right, yes. You know, I think, no, I don't think we'll be using that expression. <laughs> and good speech. I always remember the night that you and I were working together at Scottish Television. And uh, you said, well, just coming up to the news, I'll just come to you. And um, we, we did the news. And the boss phoned. And you said the boss has just phoned to say he enjoyed your news. Oh, I don't remember that. Uh -huh. and, and we sort of looked at each other. Oh, <laughs> I think we're a bit concerned he was watching. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, that was the thing. But I always remember the boss phoned. I thought, oh, for mm. goodness sake. Because, as you know, you just get on with it. That's and right. uh, you don't kind of look to the right or left or you whether you're uh, you're you're controlling all the transmission or whether you're actually reading the news you just have to get on with it you know that's right well my very first shift as a senior transmission controller was the night that the SAS raided the Iranian embassy in London to yes. get rid of to free the hostages so I mean I was sitting there my first shift expecting just to go by the routine sheet with all the timing of the commercials and everything. Mm. Of course, everything went haywire. It was just live from the embassy the whole night. So that was my first uh, oh shift. Oh, God, and what a baptism of fire. <laughs> you know, and I mean, literally a baptism of fire. But I remember that. Do you remember you saw the SAS going in and then just this huge blast? That's and right, the guy, yeah. after the blast, the guy was still standing. You know, they obviously knew exactly what they were doing, but uh, people don't realize this, that every television company, gentlemen like yourself, have to recalculate everything. I think, well, what time are we at now? And what happens next? <clears throat> and I always remember when uh, this lovely chap was training me and he said, he said, if you can't get uh, the in time from anybody, try and get the out time. <laughs> yes, that's it. It's all split-second timing. You know, he said, well, when are you coming to? He said, we don't know. We'll come to you when we come to you. Yeah. <laughs> well, we had to be strict second, split-second timing. Even now, on the rare occasion I go to the theatre, I look at my watch. It's supposed to start at 7.30, and maybe it's get 25 to 8. The programme hasn't started yet. And I think to myself, in our day, this programme started at an exact second. Yes, yes. It did. I mean, I mean, sometimes, for instance, Coronation Street was advertised at 7.30, but it might start at 7.31.28 or something, something like, like that. that, you know. But, uh, yeah. And everything ran all day, and we opened at 9.25.00, oh, and, uh, and right. we would close to the minute when the clock was up. I mean, I, I, I loved the whole experience, Gordon, you know, it was a